Hey everybody! Hi guys! So we're back with some more scent shots. Um, and this first one is Cotton Blossom. Uh, it smells very clean. I don't know if I, I don't smell a blossom or fruit To be of any honest, kind. the more I smell this, the least I like it. Um, it's very strong and it's very clean. Um, but like I said, it, it's very strong. Um, it kind of has like a soapy smell. Um, it smells like a lot of other, um, companies clean scents. Yeah. Too much of this would definitely give me a headache. Um, so I could only like. It's yours. I know. <laughs> like melt a quarter. <laughs> um, I think it's just a little bit stronger than I expected it to be. This next one is coconut hibiscus. And it's mine. <laughs> All mine. Be very careful. <laughs> um, I would say that I smell mostly coconut. I do too, but I can smell the sweet floral the, from the hibiscus. Slightly in the background. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. This is well balanced. Um, I Barbara would probably want the floral to come out more, but as this cured, I, I would really just want this to stay, stay the same. It's very coconutty right it now. Smells good. If you're scared of florals, this is a good another Definitely. good fruity combo to try. This is gardenia. I'm not even gonna smell it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hold it like this. I need to smell. No. No. It's way. Oh, see, she got me. <laughs> <laughs> It's way too strong for me. Um, it just smells like perfume, and, you know, I found that soap I was talking about yesterday, um, by the way. <laughs> Which wasn't gardenia. Oh, but I found the soap, the rose soap. I found it. Um, I just don't like the way it smells. It's kind of like, an, like Barbara says, Chantilly Lace is old lady-ish. This is old lady-ish to me. I don't know if it's so much old lady-ish. It's just... Um, it's not one of my, it's not bad, but it's not one of my favorite florals. It's very strong. Yes, it is. Uh, I guess, I just didn't know what gardenia smells like. like I guess that must be what it smells <laughs> like. But I didn't know what I was getting when I was going into it. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just not, I, I much prefer honeysuckle or tuberose or jasmine or uh, hyacinth or some of the other ones. Plumeria. White ginger. Hibiscus. <laughs> Sweet pea. I love this one. Um, I wanted to love it. And it's interesting because I'm not a big fan of the Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works. Which I think this is supposed to dupe. But I like it better I think than Bath and Body Works. Sweet Pea is like my birth flower. Um, this is pretty sweet. It's like a sweet floral to me, but um, I don't like it that much. Um, it's got a nice green note to it. I have the soap, too, and Melissa's soap is very good of this. That's what I've heard. You've smelled it, too. Oh. That's my water, Aria. She loves water bottles. Can I have some of that water? Yeah. Thanks. How come when I asked for it, you drank it? Well, I was already going to drink it when you asked for it. Okay. Okay. Next is Plantation Breeze. And I really love this, uh blue color. Me too. It is a very heavy floral, but I love it. It is a really heavy floral. I think I smell mostly jasmine. Yeah, like night blooming jasmine and then maybe some um, honeysuckle. There's like a clean scent there too. Um, it's pretty strong. It's very strong, but it's very good. Like I could definitely see my, I know this will throw well. And I know I will reorder it. I wouldn't order it in a candle. It would be too strong for me. Maybe some scoop some scent. Maybe. This one's bamboo and white ginger. I mean, white grapefruit, sorry. Bamboo and white grapefruit. Um. I think what I'm smelling most is the bamboo. I, didn't, I don't know what bamboo is supposed to smell like, but... Mm -hmm. There's a really nice green note in this, and then... It must be bamboo. It's kind of sweet at the same time. I love the way this smells. 
And I would say that the white grapefruit is like the citrus note in the background. Yeah. This is really nice. I would like to have cleaned everything and then melt this and just feel so nice. It smells like like a cleaner, not like necessarily like pine salt. No, but it doesn't smell anything like pine salt. It smells like a Japanese garden. It smells like a cleanser. Not to me. It smells like like a something you'd mop with. What? You know, like the mop soap. It doesn't smell like that at all. That's what it smells She's like insane. To me. Totally crazy. <sighs> Turns out I'm actually I'm sane. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, you're not. I had my head checked. So. <laughs> I'm a little neurotic, but I'm sane. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's Meadow Dance. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I smell mint, um, and then, like, a green note. It's not very strong, so I'm going to let it cure for a while. It's really green. That's all I really get from it. I like green the green. Is. I like green like, and earthy. Yeah, it smells like plants. It, <laughs> nothing is wrong with smelling like plants. Yes. I mean, I guess if you want your house to smell like plants, not flowers, but, like, plant plants, yeah, then that's a like good thing, but I just don't like it. Okay. It's not for me. I don't like gardenia. Me neither. <laughs> or two bros. <gasps> two bros. Blasphemy! It smells like the lingerie department. I like lingerie. I like lingerie too, but I don't like the way it smells. This is Oju oh, this pear. smells so good. And I looked it up on the internet. There's no such thing as an Oju pear. There's an Anju pear. Oh, I don't know. But there's not... It smells very peary. It smells like puke. <laughs> oh, God, the puke again. <laughs> it smells so good. It's just like a genuine pear scent. Um, I love the way it smells. It does smells. smell like when you bite into a pear. Did you buy this? I did. Why did you buy pear scents if they remind you of puke? Because I wanted to try all the new ones. Oh. This is Snuggle Baby. And she I had loves this, this. I had this before, but I ended up giving it to Amanda for her birthday. I could really smell this all day. I, I don't even know why I just ordered it. In a, oh, I know. I, cause I, I, because I had had it and I knew I love it, but I hadn't um, melted it in my house because I gave her the whole thing. So I wanted to see what the throw was. But I could see myself getting this like in a crumb melt or something. It smells a lot like baby powder. Baby powder. It's like a baby powder plus baby lotion. Yeah, that's what it smells like. The Johnson's like. brand. Mm -hmm. It smells like a baby. Like a baby's head. <laughs> Like, you know when you're holding a baby, like, after they've, you know, eaten and you're burping them and you just, like, sniff their little head? No. I bet because you don't work with babies. But it smells like a clean, wonderful baby. This is Shamrock Kiss. And I have the soap of this. And I love it. Um, and this smells a lot like the soap, except it's a little more intense than the soap is. The soap is more soapy smelling. I love the way this smells. It's really wonderful. It, it is. smells just like the original herbal essence shampoo, which you'd have never smelled. That's what you say about, like, everything that smells herbal. No, that was this soap, remember? And you said, I don't know what that oh. smells like. <laughs> and I, I said, love the way it this smells, smells like this. It's and very it does. good. It's very good. I like it. This next one's Montego Bay. Which I don't even know where that is. Montego Bay. It's in, yeah, it's in a Beach Boy song, but... <laughs> So am I. <laughs> That's right. Um, this is odd. I love the way this smells. But it is, okay, I think it was in the mm. tropical section. And it smells like pencil shavings again. Oh, God. Every time you say that, then that's all that I smell. There was something before else that smelled like she pencil said shavings. That it's, <laughs> before she said it smells like pencil shavings, it smelled... Very nice and tropically. Okay, um, the top smells like pencil shavings, so maybe it just has a cure because it cures from the bottom up. But you you think it does now? Now that you said that, that's all I can smell. Um, that's gonna need time because right now it smells like pencil shavings. Crazy. Okay, but, but you agree with me? Well, only because you said it. If you would have never said it, I would have never smelled it. Yeah, but but now that I pointed it out, you it's realize all I that can it's smell. True. Yeah. English Ivy? 
This is very green. I think it's in the florals. Um, if it is in the florals, I don't know why, because it doesn't smell like a flower. I don't know. It smells like pencil shaving. It does not smell like pencil See? shaving. See? See, it doesn't, but I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> because it, if I say it smells like pencil shaving, that doesn't mean you, that you think it smells like pencil shaving. <laughs> this um, does have a little bit of a floral note to me, just something kind of um, semi-perfumey, but it's very green. Um, it smells clean. I like it. Um, I guess I would have to see how it's warmed. I don't dislike it, but right now it's not one of my very favorites. Okay, fair enough. This next one's Crepe Myrtle. I love those. I don't even know what that is. It's those trees that are, like, really, they're really beautiful. They have, like, all this pink and white and bright fuchsia blossoms. It sounds nice. They're everywhere. Um, I can bring you one to show you one like right now. Oh. This smells like another, like it just smells like a bath product to me. Yeah, it does. Um, it's very floral, very strong floral. Um, like a bubble bath. Maybe. I would not take a bubble bath in that, but I don't like baths because it's like you're stewing in your own filth. And that's really disgusting. I guess that double answers your question, Veronica. What? What? Why was Veronica asking about bubble baths? Well, she'd ask me to find out if you like Amber Romance because she had this bubble bath. Oh. <laughs> and yesterday I asked if you liked Amber Romance in the video, remember? Oh, yeah. And that's you're like, why no. She and that's why she, <laughs> she, she got her answer. And she doesn't like, like baths either, so no bubble bath for this chick. Because it's really, it's like you're stewing in your own filth. Think about I it. I love to take baths, but I don't have a bathtub, so I can't. I wish I didn't have a bathtub. I could totally go without it. We could switch. What about a swimming pool? That's like... I like that, that it's different? chlorinated, so it's like... What if you just put chlorine in your bathtub? Ew, then you'd be like in a swimming pool. Why wouldn't I just go <laughs> to my swimming pool? It's heated all year round. <laughs> well, what if you didn't have one? Okay, this next one is cantaloupe lily. I love the way this one smells. And we both got this. Yeah. Um, it's definitely... Heavier on the cantaloupe. Yeah, which I love. I can smell the lily today. I couldn't smell it two days ago when we first got this. Um, there is, like, now a slight floral note behind the cantaloupe, but the cantaloupe really overpowers it. Um, I really like this one. I have to really look to find the lily. I can smell it now, but I couldn't before. Um, huh. I just really, 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 really... Love Victoria's cantaloupe scents. Yeah, for sure. So I have to look if there's anything left made in cantaloupe with a, with a note of cantaloupe that I haven't ordered yet. You've got to get on gonna it. It's going to be my in my next order <laughs> because everything that I've tried that has cantaloupe in it is like a very favorite. Yeah, they So smell. Melissa, this would be another good soap. <laughs> so just make all the cantaloupe soaps you can possibly and make. And all the pomegranate ones and all the mango ones. Yes make every soap possible. Ari, stop it. Ow. Did you see how she commented on one of her I videos? Know. And she was like, yeah. check. <laughs> see? <laughs> she pays attention. We love you, Melissa. We do love you, and I'm getting your order tomorrow. I'm so excited. And Amanda's going to be your new friend in Texas. <laughs> I need some friends. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa says she'd be your friend. Yay. <laughs> if you come and bring her booze and van. I'll bring you booze. She'll bring any kind of booze you want. Yeah, I'm from San Francisco. All we do is drink. Yeah, really, it is. I just told you guys how much I drink. <laughs> I don't drink that much anymore when I was younger. We just yeah. mostly drink we on the weekends. And child. then on sometimes Thursdays when we go to teach our friends and have lunch lights. Are we doing that today? You, we just decided Okay, that. okay. Yesterday she had a melon margarita for dinner. And then I didn't feel so good. But I don't think it was the margarita. Ooh. I, think it was the I hope all you people who ate those ro that romaine lettuce, I hope you're all feeling better and it was not salmonella. I've had that before too, not but fun. I think Veronica said she was feeling better already. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay, this next one is Paradise Bay, which is falling all over me. I think this was in the tropical section, but it smells clean. It does smell clean to me. I don't want, I don't smell any tropical fruits in there. I don't either. It kind of smells like, um, you know what it kind of reminds me of is Lighthouse Point. There's something in there oh, that yeah. smells like Lighthouse Point. 
but a way toned down lighthouse point. I think actually we talked about this when we first smelled this one. No. I did make a comment. I don't think that I've something, smelled this one. Oh, before. I made a comment that something reminded me of Lighthouse Point. You might have, but I didn't sniff it. Oh. Um, it smells very clean and like almost like oceany. Kind of masculine. Yeah, to be kind honest. of masculine. We'll have to see. It's, apparently, it's mine. I guess so. So maybe I should give you half since you like paradise. I mean, since you like Lighthouse, Lighthouse Point. Point so much. This next one's Mango Tango, which is another one that I had ordered and loved because that's like one of my favorite laundry detergents. Um, but then I ended up giving you for your birthday. Yeah. Because, you know, I got the sampler pack and there were a few that I knew she wouldn't like. Oh. Like the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume do. Oh, no, I wouldn't have liked that. And a couple like that that I just, I pulled out and kept and like replaced with scent shots that I had that were clean in my, in my collection already Thank that you. I thought you would like. That's very nice. Um... But this does smell just like that detergent, which, um... I don't know what that detergent smells like, because I can only use that unscented stuff. Um, but it does smell like laundry detergent, and with the mango note, I like it. One time, uh, I washed my boyfriend's clothes in, at my house, and he was like, this is the best smelling laundry detergent ever! Wow. And you know what he had said to me was that, um, he was like, you know, like, you're not, like, the most like, organized person, but everything you have smells really good. <laughs> like, your house always smells good, your car smells good, your laundry smells good, like. But the scented laundry detergent makes me itchy. It's not my fault. So, he was like, I didn't know they made laundry detergent that smelled <laughs> like this. And I actually just told him last night when we were talking, we were talking about Camel's Eye Victoria, and he was like, well, like, what kind of stuff does it smell like? And I was like, <laughs> everything. I was like, remember that laundry detergent? There's one of those. We're right. Okay, we got lots more to go. Um, this next one is Hawaiian Splash. This one is yours? I guess so. I have had this one before. I got it, like, one or two summers ago. It smells like Hawaiian Punch. Burned it. It's one of, it's heavy on the pineapple. I love it. It reminds me of Hawaiian Punch, like the red stuff you know, that you had when you were, like, super little. Mm, yeah. I love it. Or even Kool-Aid. I haven't had Kool-Aid in so long, but when I moved to Texas, all they do is drink Kool-Aid. Like, whenever I go over to somebody's house, like, do you want some Kool-Aid? I'm like, you have Kool-Aid? Do you know that William just told me that he didn't know that there were other kinds besides red? What? Yeah. <laughs> Why does everyone have Kool-Aid in Texas? And when I went to camp, we just called it bug juice. Anyway. But he really didn't know that there were... How, How can you not know? There's, like, blue and green. I know. And he was, like, flabbergasted. And lemon. There's What about Tang? Did he know about Tang? I don't know. I didn't ask about Tang. I guess we're talking what about, about Kool-Aid. What about, like, Tamp Tomp and Pico? Tamp and Pico. I'll show you at the grocery store. You've had it. Trust me. This next one is Balinese Breeze. You've had it at Casa. I had... Tang. Hey. It tastes just like Tang. Okay. This is yours. It sounds like it should be in the tropical section, but it's another one of those that smells really clean. It does smell extremely clean. And oceany. Yeah. It doesn't smell... It doesn't smell fruity at all. No, I don't smell fruit. I just smell like a clean ocean scent. Um, it's not as strong as Paradise Bay or even Lighthouse Point, but it's nice. I like this one. Okay. I don't know if it's just the the cup, but I'm getting at the very end almost a hint of black licorice. I think you're crazy. Like, I don't know if there's supposed to be anise I, I in that scent so. description, but I'm getting a touch of black licorice at the very end. Anise. This next one is Ocean Mist. Apparently Amanda was on a kick. I guess I was. <laughs> oh, this one smells like pencil shavings, too. When she said that. It's all I can smell. Every time she says that, and then she's like, it smells like pencil shavings. Except that one that I tested you. Yeah. It does smell like pencil shavings. <laughs> so see what... So Barbara's like, always right. I, <laughs> I told you. I'll just let it cure. I'm sure it just needs time to cure. Oh, this one's very full. This one's yours too, <laughs> Palm Island. See, you were on a kick. I'm not sure what kind of kick it was. Whoa. Something has happened to this <laughs> shot. Oh, we don't know. That's okay. And look at the lid. 
if you got some on my keyboard. This one does not <laughs> smell like pencil shavings. No, but it this smells is like tropical. a man. It doesn't smell like a man. It does not smell tropical. It's kind of mm. there's something in there. There's like a pineapple note. There's I, like a pine note. I smell <laughs> Pineapple. I, I don't, smell pine. Where on Palm Islands would there be a pine tree? It's called Palm Islands. There are only palm trees there, not pine Well, and there's trees. something that smells like a Christmas tree. I don't smell a Christmas tree. I do. She's crazy. Except for the pencil shavings thing. Which <laughs> is spot true. on. <laughs> it is. I should know. I've sharpened only a million I know, pencils I know. in my life. Cottage garden. It looked like so grossly colored on <laughs> my poor webcam. Is it blue? Look, it looks like it's like. What color is that? Puke green. But it's a really. But it's a nice a forest green. Forest green. Yeah, it's forest green. Um, there's definitely a, fl a floor on there that mm -hmm. I can't put my finger on. I don't know. One that I'm not particularly fond of. It's not my favorite. But there's also a green note. I do like the green note. I think in small doses this would be nice. Or like maybe even mixed with something else. It's yours. I know. This next one's Garden Mint. Oh, this smells so good. It's yours. Oh, it's yours. <gasps> maybe I ordered one too, though. Yes. Unless you're trying to steal mine. I'll have no, to check the list. Yeah, we'll have to check the list anyway. Because I think I did order this, but this one says an A. We need to check the list. That sounds like something you'd order. Mm. Um, this is another one that's definitely a mint, but it's toned down. It's not as intense as, as some of the peppermints. I think because it's probably a combination of mints. like I Or mint and something like, I don't know if it's like basil or... I don't know, but it smells really good. Um, I agree. <laughs> But it does definitely smell like a mint garden. Like, yeah. if you have ever um, gotten one of those little herb gardens that you grow on your windowsill or something, and you grow a mint plant, that's what it smells like. It is. Mmm. I haven't tried this one yet. Passion fruit. That one's yours. Yes, I ordered it. I'm sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> you love it? It's very good. It is really nice. Ooh, it's nice without being like really overly sweet or fruity. Um, it's a one one of those. Mm. Whenever I say things might smell like like mango or guava, yeah, this might be what I'm thinking. Of. Maybe it does smell really good. I would say it's in that vein. If you like like the guavas or mangoes or some of those other like star fruit, pomegranates. You would like this. And I don't ever hear anybody talk about just the plain passion fruit. I don't either. I don't know if I've even seen that reviewed. Probably once or twice, but not regularly. And it should be, because that is it one of my favorites. It smells really good, yeah. This one's papaya water lily. And I don't. I haven't tried this one either, but I couldn't smell papaya and mango papaya, so we'll... I would say for me it smells like a floral... With a slight fruit note. I can smell the papaya. Um, it's just a very light fruit. Um, but the water lily is like a... I'd say it's a light floral. It is. I don't get very much of like the perfumey floral out of that. It's like a toned down floral. Probably by the papaya. I like this one. It smells pretty good. It smells tropical to me. I think if you like raspberry violet... Raspberry violet. You might like this. Yeah. I mean, it's different than raspberry violet. Oh, yeah. But I would put them in a very similar category. So maybe give it a try. Yeah, I would try it in a scent shot. I mean, like, in that sense that it's like a not very heavy floral paired with a not that heavy fruit. An amazing, an amazing combo. This next one's Barbados. And this is another one where I get mostly coconut out of it. I get coconut and um, just tropical fruit. Not really so much pineapple. Not, I don't know, maybe some. Um, but I really like the way this smells. It's very sweet. 
I think I prefer pina colada, but I this think is not I like bad. That. It's not bad. I like this one. Oh, a water lily. Water lily by itself, so I can compare it to papaya water lily. There you go. Okay, now I know what a papaya smells like. Because, <laughs> um... Okay, there is the water lily note, but it's way toned down in papaya water lily. Um, like some of them compare. Like, water lily by itself is pretty heavy. A pretty heavy floral. I yeah. like it. Um, I like this kind of a heavy floral. But if you're sensitive to florals... This might not be for you. Yeah, um, too much floral gives me a headache, so I'm not going to be ordering that uh, the water lily, but it does smell good. I would definitely reorder that. That's, like, up there in some of my favorite florals. This is daffodil, which I don't think they smell in real life. No, they do. Do they? I think so. They smell. I think they smell wonderful. Because I've had daffodils in my yard, but... This smells like sunshine to yeah, me. Yeah, that's like daffodil smells like sunshine to me. Like, you know. And sunflower. Like the beginning of spring. This smells really nice. But, I mean, of Victoria's sunshine scent yeah. and her and sunflower, sunflower yeah. scent, daffodil's very similar. So if you've tried either of those and liked it, I would try daffodil. Um, I would say it's a very fresh, airy floral. It's very nice. It is very nice. It's not overpowering. But it is a floral. Yeah. Um, I get, if I melted too much of this, this would give me a headache. But it does, it does smell wonderful. So I would definitely order this and just, you know, cut up my little sun shot. And the last one for now is Tahitian Passion. <laughs> Oi, look. Oh, it's so cool. Too bad my okay. webcam won't ever show that. So let's see. That. It's purple on one side, and then underneath oh, yeah, yeah, it has yeah. a blue circle. <laughs> I don't really know what happened here, but it's kind of amazing. I know. Um, And it smells very fruity and tropical. Oh, look. There's like a blue swirl in I it. I know. It's cool. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I like this a lot. It's not overpoweringly fruity or tropical. It's just a really nice balance. Um, it smells really good. I don't think I get any floral out of this. I smell kind of a floral. Maybe it's just because I have daffodil on my nose. I just smell a lot of kind of tropical fruits. Which I have a hard time pinpointing. Yeah. But it's very nice. It is very nice. I like this one a lot. Tahitian Passion. Tahitian Passion. Good. Okay, that's all for now, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Have a good night.